Hey church family, I just want to share with you a little bit of information about uh, what to expect this coming Sunday morning as we begin to get together again here at Hickson First Baptist Church for worship. Remember, we're going to do early worship at 9.15 to 10.15 and late worship from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. So let me kind of give you some ideas. I sent you an email yesterday. In fact, if you've got the email, maybe print it off or get it after the, you watch this video, you can kind of go through this with me. But I'm just going to work through the email but give you some visuals about what we're going to be doing. So when you get here on Sunday morning, first thing you're going to do is you come up to the parking lot. There's going to be a greeter that's going to be here that's going to first of all welcome you to Hickson First Baptist Church. Glad to see you. Good to have you back with us. Then what we're going to do is start through a little process to help us be safe and orderly and get everybody in the right place and uh, so we can also practice our social distancing. So once you're greeted uh, by the greeter, you're going to make your way this way. Now, you're going to do one of two things. You've got to, you've got to make a choice. Do you want to sit on the left side or do you want to sit on the right side of the sanctuary? If you want to sit on the left side, you need to be at the far left door. The center doors will not be open, only the far left and the far right. So if you want to sit on the left side of the sanctuary, you need to go through that door on that side. If you want to go through the right and sit on the right, you need to go through this door. Now, on either side, what's going to happen is there's going to be a greeter, and that greeter is going to take a touchless thermometer. And they'll get within just a few inches. They'll take your temperature just to make sure that you're safe. Now, if your temperature reads 100.4 or above, we're going to ask you to ask you to go back home and just watch the service online, okay? But we will be checking everybody as they come in and taking their temperature. From that point on, you'll make your way on through. There'll be another greeter here. We're going to have some hand sanitizer. So we're asking everybody, if you would, to please use the hand sanitizer before you come in. There are going to be masks that will be on the table. We're also asking you, if you would, take a mask if you don't have one. And we would prefer that everybody who's in the sanctuary, that you wear a mask while you're in the sanctuary. There's also going to be a uh, packet of material for children. And so the parents of children will grab a packet for each child and they will have that. It's got some coloring pictures and things of that nature that they can use and doodle on during the service. From that point, we're going to make our way on into the sanctuary. Now, as we make our way into the sanctuary, there's going to be a divider here in the middle where the center doors are so because we don't want any crossing over. You're going to go straight ahead. You come into the sanctuary, into the foyer. There will be an usher standing here. Now that usher will know because you're on either the right or left side that your preference is to sit on either the left or the right. That usher is then going to lead you to this door on the right side. It's the first set of doors immediately past the center doors of the sanctuary. This door and the mate to it on the opposite side of the center door are the only ones that we will use in and out of the sanctuary. The usher is going to lead you to this door or the one on the opposite side on the left. We'll open the door for you. You won't be having to touch any door handles or anything. All of our greeters and our ushers will have on masks and they will be wearing gloves. They'll open all doors for you and so forth. So then we're going to make our way into the sanctuary. With that, the usher is then going to seat you and we're going to begin seating people in this center section. So we've got the front center, the back center, and they're going to begin seating people in these center sections based upon the size of your party. If you have a party of one to three people, we have certain pews designated that you will be seated in. So for instance, this pew right here, if you'll notice, it has on there a green tag. That tells us that this is a place where a party of one to three will be seated. If you have a larger party, four or more, we have some pews that are designated for larger parties as well, such as this blue pew. The ushers will know all of this. They will lead you to the appropriate pew where you will need to seat for the size, sit for the size of your party. We also have pews that are labeled in red, as you'll see on the video, nobody will be sitting in those pews. In fact, on this pew that has green on this end, 
we might have a party of one to three. On the opposite end, this pew is red. No one will be sitting here. This is all part of our design that we've come up with to be able to ensure that we have optimum distance for social distancing and yet at the same time appropriate places for people to sit based upon their uh, party. Everyone will be seated on the main floor. The only exception to that will be families with children. Families who have small children, young children, will have the option, their preference, of either sitting in the balcony or sitting on the floor if they so choose. The reason being is, is a lot of the kids that might be restless and so forth, they can have them up there and be comfortable and not feel like they're disturbing anybody. And please understand, we're asking that no one else ask to be seated in the balcony. That is going to be reserved for families with children in the balcony. When we dismiss the service, we will dismiss by section. So if you would, just be patient until we dismiss your particular section. When you are dismissed, we ask that if you would, be sure and exit through the same doors by which you entered. So we were on the right side of the sanctuary. I'm exiting that same door on the right side. And then make your way out to the same door by which you entered the sanctuary. But before you do, remember that we're going to have an offering box right here. You can come in and you can place your offering here. We will not take up an offering during the service, so all offerings will be collected going forward in the offering box. Once you've done that, you can make your way out the door, out to the parking lot. And enjoy your day, and we're so thankful that you worship with us, and we hope to see more and more coming back and worshiping with us in the near future. God bless.